Welcome back Nerdlings, today we're going to be taking a look at some Chaos Dwarves, but before we start be sure to like, share and subscribe so you don't miss an update. Chaos Dwarves are the dark kin of the Dwarves, who have been corrupted by the influence of Chaos. They were a faction in Warhammer Fantasy Battle up until the 5th edition. Despite how awesome these guys are, they were ditched by Games Workshop because they weren't selling as much as Chaos, Orcs and Goblins or Elves to new players. For ages, they existed only as a dim, fond memory to the veterans of the hobby. They did one new model, the Hell Cannon and its attending Chaos Dwarf crew, but little else. Lo and behold, Forge World flew to the rescue, from where you can buy some brilliant Chaos Dwarf models and can find the rules to use them in Tamakan, the Throne of Chaos. The Tamakan rulebook is fairly extensive and has some powerful units so it can stand on its own. Though the book itself suggests Chaos Dwarfs work best when incorporated into a Warriors of Chaos army, used as part of the Chaos Great Hosts rule set provided in the book, or used as allies. Common Chaos Dwarfs, surprisingly, are not the mainstay of the army in this rule set, being relegated to roles as War Machine crew, even though they have stats for a champion version, the Overseer. They're pretty much the same as Dwarfs even showing the Resolute and Relentless rules, but they have unique gear in the form of the Hail Shot Blunderbuss and a unique rule, Contempt, which means they only take panic tests as a result of the breaking or destruction of Chaos Dwarf or Ball Centaur units. This may seem unusual, but since the Chaos Dwarfs are explicitly only interested in slave taking, it makes sense that the common Chaos Dwarf fights only at the side of huge death-spitting doomsday machines. Leadership, naturally, belongs to the Magi of Hashat, the demon smiths, heroes who use the laws of fire, death or metal, and the sorcerer prophets, lords who use the laws of fire, death, metal or Hashat. Miscasts are deadly. Suffer a miscast and make a toughness check. Failure costs you a wound, Though the first failed miscast gives a plus one toughness for the rest of the game. These are nasty characters with a lot of special tricks and gear, including randomised unique magical weapons, naphtha bombs and granting re-rolls to your war machines. As an aside, you may be asking who is Hashat? He is the father of darkness the minor chaos god of fire, greed and tyranny, and the chaos dwarf's patron god. A grim and malignant being, often represented as a great blazing bull wreathed in smoke and shadow. Hashat is a chaos god, although some scholars of the arcane would label him as an archdemon rather than a dark god, while others insist it is some other foul entity let loose upon the world during the Great Catastrophe. Hashat is closely associated with tyranny, greed, fire and hatred, and is a being whose gift of power comes at a terrible price. As with much of their origins, just how the Dwarfs of the East came to seal their pact with Hashat remains shrouded in the dark times of the great sundering of the world by chaos. And, in truth, the Chaos Dwarves themselves may only have a dim and warped understanding of how they became bound to their nightmarish god. The twisted, runic cartouches that adorn their fire temples do however speak of the abandonment of the Dwarves by Zom Uzkil, by their ancestor gods during the Great Cataclysm, their finding of salvation and succour with their new god, and the thirst of Hashat for sacrifice and subjugation in return for his patronage. Over the centuries, in return for flesh and blood, homage and devotion, Hashat has gifted the Chaos Dwarfs with malign secrets and powerful sorcery that fuse their mastery of industry and forgecraft to create many demon-fused machineries and monstrous engines of war. Dominion over the fires of the earth an arcane and malevolent law that has brutalised their sanity and souls. 
The pact between the Chaos Dwarves and their Dark God has only deepened over time and grown to the point where the tendrils of Hashat's malevolence and the Chaos Dwarves' own bitter souls have become one. At the pinnacle of the City of Fire and Desolation is the Temple of Hashat, the ball-shaped god of the Chaos Dwarves, who they call the Father of Darkness. His temple is guarded by bull centaurs, creatures mutated from Chaos Dwarves long ago. They have the body of a bull, but the torso of a Chaos Dwarf, with long tusks and exotically curled beards. Inside the temple, its guardians perform bloodthirsty rites, throwing captives into cauldrons of molten metal to the echoing laughter of the assembled Chaos Dwarf sorcerers. On top of the temple stands the iron statue of Hashat. Its hollow, iron belly contains a furnace heated by coals so that the statue glows red hot and anyone who touches its surface suffers searing wounds. The god is the embodiment of the city, its deity and its master, whose power flows through the Chaos Dwarf sorcerers and for whom thousands of slaves are sacrificed by fire and furnace. The Infernal Guard are the Chaos Dwarf equivalent of slayers. Being Chaos Dwarves who have suffered dishonour and seek to atone for it. To do this, they forsake their names and identities, strap mask-like helmets of bronze and iron heated red hot over their faces and fight for the glory of Hashat. Unlike Slayers, the Infernal Guard is not a death sentence, in theory anyway. They aren't frenzied fighters like Slayers and an Infernal Guard who wins great renown has his mask formally removed and is discharged, his old shame forgotten. They go into battle sporting black shard armour, a unique Chaos Dwarf devised armour that is proof against flame. They wield fire glaives, which are basically repeater rifles with axe blades, so the Infernal Guard can split skulls in melee as well. There are two kinds of Infernal Guard Basic, who make up Chaos Dwarf core units, and Iron Sworn, who use up special slots but trade their fire glaives for magic hand weapons. Ball Centaurs are the fast moving, hardest hitting infantry the Chaos Dwarves have, coming in the form of a special unit choice or the Torok, a hero character. These are the shock troops of the army and are to be used with aggression. Naturally, the Chaos Dwarves have a variety of dread, demon infested war machines that fill up the special and rare slots in the army. The Magma Cannon, Death Shrieker, Rocket Launcher and Iron Demon War Engine in special with the Dreadquake Mortar and Hell Cannon in rare. If you want to check out my Chaos Dwarf War Machines then click on the link above. Several Twisted Beasts are further added to the Chaos Dwarf armies. Demonic bull things of living magma called the Kadai. Burning winged demon bulls known as Taurus. Magic eating monsters called Lamassu and armour-plated giants modified for use as living siege weapons. Finally, if all else fails, the Chaos Dwarves can pad out their ranks with expendable cannon fodder in the form of hobgoblins, fleet-footed wolf riders, great mobs and even conniving Khans as hero characters. The models you can see here are a full set of Chaos Dwarves from Essex Miniatures. They were painted by my good pal Barry over at Underdog Painting. Please visit his channel in the link above and be sure to subscribe. Unfortunately some of the guys got damaged in the post and suffered some chipping so I have prepared them with a quick lick of paint. I also added some slight variations in skin tone and hues to give them a little more variety. Once I had done the repairs I then varnished them with quick shade gloss and based them in the same style as my pre-slotter Chaos Warriors. I hope you enjoyed the video, which model was your favourite and why? Be sure to comment, like and subscribe and thanks very much for watching. Peace.